Okay, I'm going to talk about a few things. It's going to be it's going to be the same lah. First of all, ten year bond uh, still very high. Crude oil uh, still very high. Okay, it's going to put pressure on the uh, S and P five hundred and the market lah in general. Now the VIX uh, looks big ah, but it's still trading uh, below the fifty MA lah. So. Uh, there is not going to be a huge correction. I believe there is not going to be a huge correction yet in the S and P five hundred. Uh, huge corrections usually happen when this thing go up above the fifty MA. This is what I observe lah. Okay, this is a special tip lah for you all. Okay. Now, uh, there is not much news except that everybody is waiting for these uh, inflation numbers, lah. Because uh, U.S. the market is very uh, driven by monetary policy, interest rates, QE, QT. This is what's going to push the market up, push the market down. And it's always been like that, lah, from long time. So yeah. Everybody is trying to guess where the interest rate is going to go, lah. Right now, Apple uh, this time is a bit weird because usually during Apple time, ah, uh, Apple Day, ah, uh, uh, Apple Day the stock go up, but this time the stock never go up, ah. Uh. It could be a harbinger of something, uh, a down a huge downwards movement, a huge correction in Apple. Ah, uh, I I don't know, ah, uh, so far, okay. Ah, uh, I I I haven't got the thing yet. I don't know whether it could be a harbinger of a huge movement downwards or not. Okay, that's rule one, rule two. Uh, today's topic, I'm going to talk about dividend stock lah, because everybody was talking about dividend uh, warrior AK seventy one lah. Okay, my views on dividends is I'm actually uh, neutral on it lah. Okay. But I do believe that if the company still want to grow, there is no use in buying the dividend. In fact, I think it's better to buy back, lah. Okay, but some companies they specialize in giving out dividends, lah. Giving out dividends, right? Uh, dividend stocks they call it dividend aristocrat, or we call them uh, rates. Okay, now rates is a different matter. Rates actually you own the property. And the benefit of a rate is uh, the company is not taxed, uh, okay, but they have to give out ninety percent of their taxable income uh, as dividends, okay, which is in actually in actual in 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 reality is actually super bad. Uh, I don't really like, it. okay. So, uh, dividend. Companies like uh, examples are uh, Legat and Pratt. This is the dividend stock. Okay, performance hasn't been good lah uh, for the past year because of the increasing treasury rate. So people are gonna choose treasuries because instead of this, uh, treasuries they still yield about five percent. Okay, they still yield five percent. There's no use lah. Uh, basically, if we yield five, five and a half, then you buy the six and point seven. So people, a lot of people, they start buying the five and a half, right? Risk free, ma, right? No, no capital, uh, no capital decline, no risk on capital, right? At the end of the six months, you're gonna get one hundred percent of your money back. Okay, that's what's so amazing about the treasury notes, ah. Okay, treasury notes or treasury bills, I don't know what you call it, ah. Uh, either way, uh, yeah. Another one that is uh, very famous is ET lah. Okay, this is a pipeline uh, in the US. Okay, this is a pure dividend play lah. Okay, uh, yeah. Other than all these, uh, you know, you see AK from the blog and the YouTube channel lah. He doesn't really care about the price ah. Whether go up or go down, he cares about the dividends. Ah, uh. I think, yeah, ET this is another safe one. But uh, when you buy US companies, ah, uh, there's a thirty percent withholding tax. Ah, uh. especially if it's a partnership, ah, uh. partnership you can, uh, you know, thirty percent. So, 
uh, partnership ah, LP like that. Wah, that's why a lot of people don't really like buy LP. Ah. Okay. For I think uh, countries with tax treaties is usually 15%. Okay. Now that's why I think dividend is not very popular in Singapore because Singapore has no tax treaty with the US. Okay. And that's why AK71 he buys uh, the the dividends. Uh. He buy those uh, Singaporean company dividends uh, instead of buying a uh, foreign one. Okay. Uh, because of the tax lah, no tax ma, right? So dividend is okay lah. It's not bad lah. Okay, it's not bad. Okay. It's not bad lah, especially if you have a wide array of dividends ah, then you just sit down there and you put money, okay? But a lot of people just oh just look for the highest dividend stock then you buy lo, okay? Now there's this thing called a coverage ratio, right? There's coverage ratio. How uh, how much of your free cash flow are you paying to as dividends, right? Uh, you generally don't want to pay a lot of of your free cash flow out, right? You want to keep some to pay back the debt, okay? So yeah, uh, you still have to watch the free cash flow. You still have to watch the uh, how much are they giving out as dividends, right? Okay, and uh, honestly speaking, uh, I prefer. Uh, I like dividend companies, ah, don't mistake me, ah, but I don't like dividend companies that has a high debt. Ah. Okay, like AT&T, this one is I, I, I would never tell anybody to buy. Ah. Okay, another one is uh, Verizon Wireless. This one I would never tell anybody to buy. Okay, because the debt is so much that I am blurry. And not only that, uh, each time come out new technology, 5G and all that, they have to spend a whole lot of money, right? And to develop the new technology. Like for example, 5G, they have to uh, bid for the bands and all that. Okay, so again, uh, when you buy dividend stocks, you must understand the business. Okay. So I think when I look at AK, he buy the bank stocks. Uh, I don't know whether they are safe or not. Okay, uh, because banks tend to be a little bit more leverage. If you really want safety, okay, you shouldn't buy banks lah, stocks. Okay, uh, if you want dividends, actually, you should buy bonds. Uh. If you like dividends, you should buy bonds. It doesn't have to be dividends. Uh. Okay, so a lot of people mistake that part. Uh. Oh, I must buy uh, the stock. They give. You can buy bonds. You can buy preferred shares. Uh. Okay. Uh, preferred shares are more lenient lah. You don't have to watch everything until so bad. You just make sure that the free cash flow is enough to cover the preferred dividend lah. Okay. Hudson Bay Properties ah huh, recently cut the common dividend but still pay the uh, uh, preferred dividend. So preferred dividend got this uh, safety net lah. Okay. There's a lot. There's really a lot of uh, stocks that you can buy if you, if you really want to go in this route, lah. Okay, but I don't like dividend stocks because they really must pay the dividend, so they persist on paying the dividend, and they ruin the balance sheet. Okay. Another example is VFC. This is one company they force themselves to pay the dividend, and they are ruining the balance sheet, lah. Okay. Now, uh, this one, the operating cash flow may seem negative, but you have to add this back. Uh. There's these uh, changes in working capital. Okay, so it's 750 uh, minus 161 and all that. I, am, I, am I, did I got it right? 750? 750, yeah. Okay, about 750, uh, 850, la, 850 minus 150. So that is about 600 lah for 2022. But this guy, he pays 700 lah. So the free cash flow is 600, but he pays 700. This is an example lah of the worst kind of dividend companies out there. They pay more in dividends than they can. Okay. 
I suggest you all uh, whenever you find this kind of companies uh, get out get out uh. that's my take uh. okay get out of these kind of companies where they pay the dividends uh, just for the sake of paying dividends okay so here it should have been a cut uh, this one 2022 okay and this one the latest statements also when I see wow, this is not good eh? 120 right minus 84 so that is about 40 left uh, 40 uh, million but you pay one six of dividends so this is another problem that needs to be solved what happened in the end in the end you borrow money to pay dividend so this kind of companies uh, I suggest uh, you should get out. Uh. Okay. It's funny that we pay them, uh, we pay this management to do the stuff for us. Uh. But they keep doing stupid ass shit. Uh. Headache uh, sometimes. Okay. So dividend stocks, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, can grow. Uh, okay. Doesn't mean they won't grow. Uh. Don't 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 just because the guy gives dividend you straight away sell the stock. If the underlying business is still growing, it's still good. It's still solid, has a nice mode. Just keep it lah. Okay. I know the thirty percent tax is pain lah, but you have to take it lo. Okay, that's all for today.